we live in some very interesting times. Not all of it is good and not all of it is bad. My name is Sunder Ramani, and I'm pleased to share some thoughts about what's ahead of us and hopefully stoke some ideas for all of you as to the path forward and what you might do to contribute to the future that exists. I title this, Watch, Listen, Now Go Do. At the end of the 1800s, there was a choice of continuing to make buggy whips for the horse-drawn carriage or go toward Model A, as Henry Ford envisioned, and the horseless carriage. Well, we know that many of the old guard decided to stay making buggy whips because they thought the horse, horseless carriage would not do well. Well, we all know, as history taught us, which industry went on to succeed and which one went on to fail. They didn't have the history behind them or crystal balls to have the advantage of knowing what the future would look like. They made choices. Some lives went on to ruin and other lives went on to become captains of industry. Fundamentally setting in motion a run at modernizing the world way of life. Fast forward to today, we owe those risk takers an enormous debt of gratitude for moving technology and modern convenience to the levels we enjoy today. Those events set in motion an exponential increase in efficiency and consumer convenience. Can you imagine what it would be like without a car? If you were still tying up the horse to a buggy? Thank God we're not there. As we find ourselves in this moment in this country, trying to get its feet under itself after a four-month economic and lifestyle shutdown, followed by civil unrest for mistreatment of our fellow humans, we are in a place of self-reflection and motivation to be meaningful in the conversation and share the growth of productive humanity. What direction shall we take? What is our future? Where is our future? How can I make an impact? If you're asking these important questions, especially from those of you in the younger generation recently having graduated from college or high school, you're not alone if you don't have the answers. This moment is difficult for all generations, the very young, the very old, and those somewhere in between. Let me offer some thoughts towards some of those answers. Much like those of the previous century, are you asking what is relevant in the past or what will we need for the future? Look around you and see how you would see the world and what changes you would see. What challenges do you see? What do you see in your daily life you'd like to improve? If you ever watched a commercial for a product and thought, I could have come up with that. Well, you didn't. Someone thought it would be a good idea to put a stick-on knob on the back of an iPhone to make it easier to hold, take pictures, do selfies. Well, have you ever thought how many of those have been sold? Somebody had a really good idea. Someone thought it would be unique to showcase houses for sale by using drone video. It was a clever and advanced viewing opportunity to sell a house. As we deal with social distancing, this feature of drone showcasing of homes will become a requirement because of social distancing. This is a booming industry ready to explode and probably will become the new normal. And those that got into it first will soon see rapid competition. What will we need going forward? How about the company that converts standard lighting in offices and replaces it with virus-killing fixtures that emit ultraviolet C lighting? This new lighting would fit into the existing fluorescent light fixtures in offices, disinfect all the air in the room, and soon might be required fixtures in all office buildings. How big of a market do you think that industry will command? The local news specialty is showcasing the latest car chases. I imagine it's intriguing to watch how the chase will end, but we pretty much know the ending. These events typically end up horribly with great human and property destruction. 
What if keeping a satellite operated kill switch to shut the car off from being deployed to end these chases at the outset? Wouldn't we want to protect the communities and the pedestrians and the community at large? Sure, there are privacy concerns and such, but all decisions have risk reward, and this is no different. Here's another idea. Prisons are full of people that have made wrong choices. The cost to society for building prisons and holding inmates is substantial. A lot of your tax dollars goes to keep people incarcerated. Many of these lawbreakers have a high recidivism rate due to the inability to get jobs. They serve their time, they come out, can't get a job, and the former con convicts, and the former convicts having no other alternative, return to the one thing they were good at, crime. The cost to society is high, never mind the human toll of jailing a fellow human. There are industries that can benefit from utilizing former convicts and could receive significant federal or state funding to hire these people, give them a job. Infrastructure construction would be an ideal backdrop for reforming these individuals. This is a controlled environment with supervision and ex-con convicts and ex-convicts can assimilate back in the mainstream. Given the chance at a paycheck is a lifeline of hope an opportunity for these souls. Who will take that challenge? Who will stop this endless cycle of prison life? Here's an idea that came about lately. My friend that runs the airport indicated his challenges in dealing with passengers in this pandemic environment. Many passengers are showing up with no masks. Problem solved. They found a company that put vending machines in the airport that sell these masks. Someone jumped on that idea pretty fast. Doing good for the humanity, doing good for the airport, doing good for the traveling passengers. What about restaurants? How many of us love to go out to restaurants? They've been closed down for quite a bit. Are they gonna be put by the wayside as an industry from the old days? Or is there someone out there figuring out how to keep the patrons safe while dining. Who doesn't want to go out to eat, but you want to do it safely? I'm sure somebody that's clever is figuring out a better way to go out to eat. Here's a big one, childcare. Childcare has always been a big issue for parents, not only in this age of pandemic, but long before. Nothing is more important than the safety of a child while parents work. Who's gonna figure out the new normal on childcare? Keeping children safe, separated from each other, and if you know anything about children, they seem to have the disease of the weak uh, club. Every Tuesday, they seem to have a runny nose, but this is the way children grow. This is all tip of the iceberg stuff. If you come across something that you're annoyed with, chances are you're not alone. But who will make the change? Some people always look in the rearview mirror and see what might have changed. And there are quite a few people looking out through the windshield to see what they will change. You can be an accountant, financial analyst, marketing assistant, etc. Or you can be accountable for the change that will be needed. And it's surely coming. And it will need someone to lead us there. Don't worry that you have no experience in fixing today's issues. Find the people already working on issues you think are important. Join their team. Work towards the future you see. You can't become good at barbecuing until you've done it, learned from it, and perfected it. Same with all these other things that you're so passionate about. You have to get your hands wet and start doing it. There's an old story of a man walking down the sidewalk and he sees a construction worker and he said, stops him and says, what are you doing? He says, I'm laying bricks. He shrugs and walks a little further and sees another construction worker and asks him, what are you doing? And he says, I'm building a beautiful cathedral. 
This is a defining moment to ask, what are you doing? What are you building? Now is the time to put into action what is good for society. Usually it is what's good for business. I wish you all Godspeed as you help lead us to the next solutions that will help communities and help humanity. Godspeed.